Hi all you designers out there, this is Nikki with Design Like a Pro and I'm bringing you a pro tip today that's going to take care of some of those questions I've been seeing in the comments about why I use inches. Well first of all, it's what I know, it's where I'm from, I use inches, it, it is what it is. But I do realize that a lot of you do not use inches, you might use millimeters, you might use centimeters, or you might use picas. And depending on where you're located in the world, that makes a big difference. But my tutorials being in inches might be a little bit confusing. But I'm here to show you a really cool trick in InDesign that's going to handle this for you. So whatever measurement you use in InDesign, it's okay that I'm giving you some inches to plug in. It's a really cool trick. So let's get started here with a new document in InDesign. Oop, I did not mean to create a book. New document. All right. And let's just go ahead and make this an A4 document for the moment. And it's already in inches because that's what I have set in my InDesign program. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, if you do not use inches, I'm going to change my program to something else. So if you go to Preferences, Units and Measurements, you can set any measurement here that you want virtually. You can use picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, whatever you want to use. You can set that right here. So I'm going to change this to millimeters so that my units now are going to reflect millimeters only. And we're going to hit OK and you can see that my ruler has changed. So now let's go to File, Document, Setup and now you can see that my A4 document really is in millimeters. Okay, so what if I want to change this and I say let's create a document that's 11 inches by 17 inches. Well my InDesign uses millimeters. So you really have two options. You can go back into preferences and change it to inches just this one time so that you can follow along with my tutorial or you can take advantage of this really cool little magic trick that InDesign has to offer and you don't have to change any of your preferences. So if I say let's create an 11 by 17 document, all that you need to do is type in 11 IN so that you can see that the millimeters is abbreviated to mm for millimeters while inches is in. So you can abbreviate or if you really want to just spell it out 11 inches. And actually let's go ahead and make sure that there's a space there. And go ahead and hit tab. And you'll see that automatically that width was converted from 11 inches to millimeters. The same thing for the height. Let's go ahead and type 17 space in or spell it out, inches. And if we hit tab, it'll go to the next line for us so we can see this in action. All right, so now we can see right here that our document has been transformed from an 11 by 17 inches to millimeters because that's what we've set our InDesign to do. So if you guys out there have your InDesign set for a different measurement other than inches, this is going to transform it for you. No converting, none of that. It's really cool. So just to show you that it did in fact change, we're going to go back to Edit, Preferences, Units and Increments, change this back to Inches, hit OK, go to File, Document Setup, and voila, we have our tabloid 11 inch by 17 inch document. And now you're set. So whether you work in picas, millimeters, centimeters, you name it, this is a great way to take my inches that I give you in all of my tutorials and just type in the number and type in IN or inches and then continue on to your height and do the same thing. And there you go. Now you're not going to have to convert that. I know that's been bugging a lot of you. And I completely understand we got a lot of different measurements out there that we use. So this will make this a lot easier for all of you to follow along with the tutorials regardless of where you're located in the world. So thank you so much for watching. Leave comments below or questions. I do my best to answer them. And if you want, you can send me a comment or an idea for an upcoming episode to ideas and NikkiHart.com. I do enjoy reading through all of those emails that you guys send me. And you can also subscribe to stay up to date with the latest things that we have going on here. Latest episodes, tips, tricks, you name it. Anything going on at Design Like a Pro, please subscribe and you'll be updated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.